that it? Is that all they're gonna give me? This is a lot less than they gave me in the other levels. Which is surprising, because that's the hardest boss fight. Alright, got 150,000 crowns. Or helmets, rather. I don't think I'm gonna need a whole lot more. Also, I'm very curious. Alright, so this is a Roman theme park, right? Um, why are the helmets of the soldiers currency for the people in this park? Like, when everyone here be on the Roman side? Such a ah, good, you are here. Perfect, I was waiting for you. I know you set free the other druids and I am very much happy. Personally, I never doubted for one second the loyalty of Getafix. I knew he was a fake straight away. Ah, well, good for you. So now it only remains for you to free poor old Getafix. He must be growing mold in some part of Caesar's palace. Yes, and uh, what, what, what? What? You still here? Go on now. Hurry, hurry. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Turn into a tornado. Crazy. The button combo is too hard to remember, though. So I'm just gonna do the old X triangle, X triangle. So maybe I should remember this one. It's just X square triangle O. All right, so just a a clockwise cycle around the pad. All right, moving on to the final zone, Caesar's Palace. Check that out. Um, alright, try to remember this combo and use it next time in, I'm uh, in a brawl. I don't know if they're all equally powerful, or if like each one that you unlock is more powerful than the last one. I wonder if it shows me the combo like move list in like a, a menu screen somewhere. Let's check that out as soon as we get past this interminable boot screen. Alright. All right, statistics options. Do 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 do. Camera control. Ba 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 do. Statistics. Um. Oh wow, we've only spent four hours in this. We're already almost done. Surprised. Attack list. That's what I want to look at. All right. Whip bashes. Straight bash. Round bash. Dogmatics. Wait, how do we use dogmatics? With the L. Okay. Playing round bash. Just have to jump off something high. The twister. I'm gonna do that. Alright, whip. Power hammer. Smash. Lightning move combo. Okay. That just creates like a big ball around me. Okay. That's the raining mini ears. That's the twister. Alright, I don't know if I'm gonna unlock a, an extra combo when I defeat Caesar or not because he's the final boss. We can go find out. Let's uh, get healed up first. Oh, it looks like we were already at full health. Okay. Dodge these mooks. I'm going to be able to get back up there, right? Yeah, I think I can hop up from here. here. A boo, and away we go. Oh, let's save real quick. So yeah, as we're coming down towards the end of the game, uh, we're kind of approaching a final verdict, and overall, I'm, I'm pleased. You know, it's it's uh, it's certainly not like a, a classic platformer. You know, it's like oh my god, I can't believe that you know nobody's played this, but um, it's very competent, I think, in a lot of ways. Uh, again, mostly with just the humor, the characterization. Um, they they were very successful with. Uh, which is nice to see in a licensed game like this. Um, usually licensed games working with existing IPs are uh, pretty hit and miss. What is that orange stuff over there? It looks like a person, but also looks like it's just flowers. do tell. Maybe it's just flowers. Okay. Caesar's Palace. One of the uh, mainstays that Asterix and Obelix, as uh, a comic book, is known for is for clever wordplay. Um, and a surprisingly competent translation staff. Um, 
because a lot of times the, the translators are able to either preserve the wordplay or even add in extra jokes. Which you wouldn't expect. I mean, if this is all the French language, you wouldn't expect a, um, us to be able to get a lot of that from an, an English version of the game. Alright, do, 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 do. And we're a twister! Oh, look at us! Crazy, crazy! Sucking up all these fools. Looks like the more moves that we get rid of, the more uh, bouncy things we unlock. We've got to unlock all the bouncy things. We've got big guards here. Seems like we might have encountered some kind of sound effect bug. Because we're not really getting any open. Oh, on. Here we go. We're not really getting much in the way of like combat sound effects, but I can hear like some kind of rattling noise going on. Alright. I'm not seeing anything else unlocked. We might have already uh, um, killed our quota of soldiers. Oh, we got. You're about to enter Caesar's palace, Gauls. The grandest palace ever built by Julius Caesar. Go through there instead. There's an opening. Beyond this block, here. No, 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 just to the side. Oh, yes, I didn't see it there. Let's go, Obelix. Uh, smart thinking me to dig this hole, not taking another block in the head. <laughs> Good to see we're having callback humor. All right. Again, a, a Rayman magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat. Lovers quite like Rayman. Of course, I can suppose it makes sense, uh, given those developed by a Frenchman. Alright, what am I missing here? Well, this place is all the way up in the sky. This means interesting. Looks pretty cool from the load screen. Alright, so this has uh, fixed our endless rattling bug. Alright. Yeah, look at this place. We're up here way amongst the clouds. This is cool. I love levels like this. Feels very Spyro. In fact, if we were playing Spyro, then I'd be able to jump on this ledge and walk around to find a secret treasure. But we're not! So, <laughs> I just fell to my death. And it, it, it started the uh, the brawl event while I was falling. It's funny. Right, let's get on in here and uh, smash some fools. Switch back to Asterix, so hopefully we can unlock some uh, secret potion. It's not really a secret potion, it's just a magic potion. It's quite well known, in fact. Yeah, so some backstory on uh, Asterix and Obelix. The reason why Obelix is so much stronger and, and, uh, and bigger than... Uh, Asterix is because apparently he was dumped in like an entire cauldron of that magic potion that they drink as a child, and so he like absorbed a lot of it, and now he's just really big and strong. I don't think that uh, it actually has any gameplay ramifications as far as like, you know, if you play as Asterix, you hit weaker than, than Obelix. Keep on throwing these fools into each other. Five to go. I imagine these last three will be all big dudes, huh? Yep. Oh, let's use Obelix to fight. Or not Obelix, Dogmatix. <laughs> he actually stuns them for us. Oh, that's that's convenient. That way we don't uh, leave ourselves vulnerable while he's stunning them. Nice. It looks like he runs around to bite him on the butt, so uh, that might even work on shielded enemies. We'll have to use him more often. The exit is this way? Look how beautiful this place is. Man, this level is fantastic. I'd love to have a sky pilot palace like this. And away you go! 
Oh, do we have rainbows over here? What? Could be a reference to the uh, the rainbow, like you know, the, the sky rainbow level from uh, from Mario, or it could just be a pretty uh, pretty rainbow. All right, keep on pressing forward. Music here is uh, whimsical and, and airy too. Man, I really like this level. I love how grand it feels. It's just these wide open spaces. This is exactly what I was saying we didn't see a lot of in the rest of the main game, and now we're, we're getting tons of it here. It's fantastic. All right, gotta get through a ton of these dudes. Got throw 16 of them at this this crap. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, Dog the dicks can uh, stun enemies even while they have shields. So we are going to use the crap out of him. Oh no, look out, look out, he's getting beat up. Unfortunately, it's very easy, to, as I've said, I think a couple times already. That Oh, what, what did I just do? I, I, I have no idea. Let's get back. Alright, it's uh, a little bit too easy to get stun locked. So you got to be careful. Aside from that, the combat's not terribly challenging, so it's it's not like it's a chore or anything. All right, just gonna get three more. Okay, where's a uh, one stun? There we go. Oh, and the trees. Even though you can still target through the trees, looks like they do block if you throw a throw a soldier pad. So it's uh. and dogmatic around to uh, stun these fools. All right, it's one pillar down. Oh, get out of there. Definitely don't want me to mill a bunch of soldiers. All right, just got to do seven more. Only seven more? These soldiers practically destroy themselves. Still got dog mix running all over the place, biting stuff. And I wonder if I can have him like actually bite people while I'm swinging people around. Like if I just keep on spamming this uh, left trigger, if I'll just keep on chomping. Looks like he is. He's uh, as you can see, we've already got a couple of soldiers already stunned for us. Oh, look out! Look out! No, they're getting me. Can't even see what's getting me. All right. Thankfully, we have opened the palace. We've got some fish here on these blocks. I'm not sure if that's a video game reference or not. I don't recognize those particular types of fish. All right, into the main palace. I sense a load screen coming up soon. 